Hi guys, I'm going to be out Thursday and Friday as we talked about and you are going to be taking a test. Joy, joy, joy. It is not graded. You have no reason to worry about it. I know it can be anxiety producing, but the truth is I will not laugh at you if you mess this up. It's really important that you do the best that you can, but you shouldn't be embarrassed by whatever score you get. I have had people get zeros and still wind up with A's for me for the school year. This test is information I have not taught you yet. It would be weird if you were already able to get 100. Just do the best you can. There's two parts. After you're done watching the tutorial, you can come on up and grab either part first, doesn't matter. Let's say you want to start with the multiple choice. Well, it's right here. It's a little packet. There's 15 questions, A, B, C, D, you choose. Then the 16th question is a little of an open-ended two or three sentences per part. There's like three bullet points to the question. For each one, one to three sentences is enough to answer it. You can keep your answers on that sheet, and then later, when you have time, if you've finished both parts, you can go back and enter those answers onto the Google form, which is posted on the Google Classroom. Hold on to the paper copy, because if you have technical problems, or I have technical problems, I want to be able to collect the original sheet from you. So don't get nervous, okay? You can, um, you can absolutely keep it on the regular sheet as a backup. When you've completed that, you can move on to the measuring, or you could start with the measuring first. Here's the measuring sheet. It's a single sheet. There's five or six items that you have to measure. All of the items you need to do it are on the cart or right behind it. Please don't take materials from other places. The exception would be water, which you have to get out of one of the sinks. There's a couple of things you need to be careful of, careful of. You don't need goggles for this, but be aware that it's easy to break my equipment if you don't know what you're doing. And since we know you don't know what you're doing, I'm going to give you a couple of pointers. Number one, the first item that you're going to be finding a measurement for are these green pieces of metal. On the sheet, it's called a green slab or a metal slab. And that's what I mean by that. So that's that metal piece. You pick that piece up and you're gonna get the volume. There's actually two totally acceptable ways to find the volume of something that's rectangular. One involves using a ruler and the other involves using a graduated cylinder. I know it's easier to use a graduated cylinder, but I do not have graduated cylinders that these metal slabs fit comfortably inside of. You might think that you can squeeze that metal cube into a graduated cylinder, but you'd be wrong. You will get it stuck in there, and then it will be stuck in there until I come back, and then I will be really annoyed with you. So please don't put the green slabs in the graduated cylinders. Use a ruler for finding volume. They're in the front of the room in the brown box near my dinosaur on top of my fridge next to my scissors in the borrowing station. Then you also have to find the volume of some sand. You have to find the volume of some water. You have to find the volume of air in the jar, and you can use your own judgment for that. I did put funnels down for easy pouring in and out of graduated cylinders. And then you have to find the volume of a, um, of a marble, but actually you should do five marbles. That's what you should do. It doesn't say that on the sheet, so you need to know, do five marbles. Here are the marbles. Um, doesn't matter what color they are, they're all the same volume as each other, so it shouldn't be a problem. And again, before you put them into a graduated cylinder, if that's the method you want to use, make sure that they fit in the graduated cylinder and you can get them back out easily. Okay, so do the best you can. Make sure you include units on your measurements. Make sure that you explain as clearly as you can how you went about getting those measurements so that I can give you partial credit where I can. With me not being here, guys, it's really important that you treat the equipment with respect. Take responsibility for the things that you take off of the cart. Make sure you bring them back, put them back where you got them from, and leave them in the same condition, clean and dry. I believe that there are two items that you have to find the mass of. To find mass, you're going to need to use either an electronic balance or a triple beam balance. I have both. I'm going to leave the cabinet open so you can see where they are. The electronic balances um, are a little bit tricky to use. There are 
directions in some of them or nearby. So if you open up those boxes that are behind them, you can find the directions for how to use the um, electronic ones. And if you don't want to use an electronic one, you can use a triple beam balance. Please put the balances back the way you find them. The electronic balances are easily damaged. Treat them with respect. Don't leave them sitting out on the counters when you're done. Clean it off, dry it off if it's gotten wet, and then put it back in the cabinet where you found it. So when you're done with all of this test stuff, hold on to your sheets, enter your Google form for the multiple choice part. There's no Google form for the measurement part. I'll collect that from you when I come back. Please do not give it to the sub. Um, the sub is not responsible for your work. You are. Hold on to it. Don't lose it. Make sure your name's on it. When I come back, I'll give you instructions for, you know, how to return it to me. Try not, try to remember, you can't use any other equipment except what's on the carts. Then, if you get finished with both tests and you have time left over on Friday, go right ahead and work on anything related to the black box or the vocabulary or the enrichment activities that I've given you so far. I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on Monday.